back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Go on, my people. Hope everybody you know okay. Hope everybody you know right. Fate does not free you from having to fight for what you want. Devotion does not discard disappointment from others. Hard work does not mean you will never face struggles. Being kind doesn't guarantee you a good life. Experience are necessary for evolution. It is where you grow. Focus on mastering your capability and you will triumph through all. That is what I want, power, what I want, people. Member, member, good. Me just active you know, the message just as me get it. But all on the people, me need to ask you something. Maybe something wrong with me, you know. Then really and truly, a boy could have really tried off of my mother and this morning, both me and him alive. I so I couldn't know that foolishness that we going, people. Just keep back and relax and wait till me reach right there. So. Because I find the first police for 2023, we need to go back to training school. During a series of operations, members of the security force seized three illegal guns and more than 80 rounds of ammo. The three illegal guns were seized during several joint police military operations in Mount Salem, Glen Devon, Barney Street, and in Montego Bay, St. James. 30 rounds of ammo were also seized and one man was arrested. In another operation, along Ambro Claim off Angle Park Road, which part all of the phone thief them live. So what I said, I mean what I said, I know me not take it back. Members of the security force seized 50 assorted rounds of ammo. No one was arrested. Well on, a phone thief alone enough go down, never catch man. Anyway, now people, the Jamaican Constable Air Force is reporting that several persons were shot and injured during illegal gun salute on New Year's Eve. And I guess I will tell you that people, and Dennis Brooks, and Eva Stephanie, because she didn't make a mistake. This goes that at least four persons, including a teenager watching fireworks, were shot. An elderly woman who was asleep in her bed was also wounded as a result of one of those illegal New Year's Eve gun salute. That is why when the police say the boy them with the gun, them say watch them man straight dirt. You understand some people who come on a ball ball. Police shoulda kill them. Police shoulda do this. Police shoulda do that. Go well, and take up a gun and go in the line and see if they get slapped with you, man. Anyway, we can move on. See the fool she said we may talk about. In the coming from an incident in which a man was shot by an off-duty policeman along the Palisades Main Road in St. Andrew. It's important that the policeman and his mother are among persons watching fireworks along the airport road when she got into a dispute with an individual. It is alleged that the man used his vehicle to hit the elderly lady. So we well, at that time in bat fly. They are telling the truth. Me not even have to wait. The policeman reported to react in the defense of his mother. It is further alleged that the man attempt to use the vehicle. The policeman will respond by drawing his gun and open fire. So we'll land there. You never know if a slap out him head back. And that you should do. You understand? This is boy you should live. This is what you make them both him and his mother. I'm just going to go to jail. I'm going to pay a little fine and come out scratch free. And you have to write the report to Indicom. Might as well the angle in bangle. Just as so. Me see police and soldiers circle at Barrel Town and fix Spence business. And left one only for people about. Better you tap in as and go and work for your strength. Because you have gaskets for the up soon. You understand? Members here going to be one of the six. Anyway, a substance was shot dead during a reported confrontation with members of the military in Olympic Garden St. Andrew. The substance was fatally shot shortly after midnight during a confrontation on Malcolm Drive. Two illegal guns and 12 rounds of ammo were reported seized. Another suspect was also fatally shot during confrontation in the military in Admiral Town, West Kingston yesterday. Yeah, people, I'm tell about that one day. He has been identified as Christopher Spence. It reported that an illegal gun with several rounds of ammo was also taken from him. And guess what, people? The police them clad some shot and the one run and then I'm down to. Yes, I know so they never hear about that the one day. Cause they might try to keep it under the hush hush. But as soon as we get the name, me I'm gonna give it to no. Hold on now. If such one got a jail on a client and sign, a bit things are going. But anyway, let me tell you this. Police have cleared up a 2016 double murder case, even though the man accused of the killing has been dead over two years ago. Fitzroy Corey, otherwise called OJ826, was said to be one of several men who pretended to be police officers and shot their two brothers in their sleep. The brothers, Romario Lawrence, an 18 year old Andy man, and Javel Lawrence, 19, both of phase two of an Ice Clarendon, were killed on September 8th. 2016. It's reported that about 2 40 a.m., both teens were at home sleeping when men claimed to be police kicked open their door and shot them multiple times before escaping on foot in the area. I remember seeing the place them come from. Police were 
summon and discover the brothers with multiple gunshot wounds to their upper body on separate beds. Remember them get a shot on them inside too. More than nine spent casings were found in the room and another eight retrieved along the roadway. Post-mortem conducted on both victims determined the cause of death to be multiple gunshot wound to the torso and head. On September 27, 2020, remember this case people you understand because we need to talk about it. Corey was fatally shot by police in Mayday District, Manchester. A firearm was recovered in that incident in which Corey reported he used two women as human shield. But all on the member, member good people. Corey better to come out and say my case some police. The police never find him and slap him away. I try to remind on other situations, you know. Nobody feel like so forget. Find the brother and slap for the brother to you know cause him to come out and say, yo, you go kill box some police to my brother. If he does then you can go back, go listen to it. You understand? Anyway now, people, member, member good. Yesterday can't you come out and say this? No, clown then I say this. Jamaica needs a strategy which does not violate the constitution. One which tackles the root causes of violent crime in our country and in a way which can be supported by all well-thinking Jamaicans, including the opposition. It is my hope for 2023 that the government will embrace a more collaborative approach to addressing the issue of crime. Jamaica needs a balanced approach to our national security crisis, using both tactical law enforcement and well-designed social interventions. So that was cloning with Fim New Year's message to the nation. A whole land of people can't draw something else to say. You understand? The man said, watch out the man in 2023. We will see an improvement in public order and safety throughout the country. That is the country officer, you know. And I'm going to talk to the people, they're more driving care of the road and not pay them dictator and a bag of things. Listen to him now. The new road traffic act will come into effect on February 1, 2023. This will go a far way in bringing order to our roadways. Motorists are encouraged to address their outstanding tickets at the courts before the new law takes effect. Motorcyclists are both a significant cause and victim of road crashes. The new law makes it mandatory that all riders and pillions must wear a helmet and that motorbikes must be sold with helmets. The capability of the police to issue electronic tickets will more than double with the arrival of e-ticketing devices in the next few weeks. Under this new system, warrants will be issued in a seamless and timely manner. Traffic violators will no longer be able to ignore tickets they have accumulated and continue to drive recklessly without consequences. 2023 is the year when Jamaica will start to see a sustained reduction in violent crimes, particularly murders, and see an increase in public order and safety as well.